Oscar winner and three-time Tony winner Mark Rylance has returned to Broadway in Farinelli and the King. Written by Rylance's wife, Claire Van Campen, the drama explores the true story of Spanish monarch Philippe V, who is on the brink of madness but finds comfort in the voice of world-famous castrato Farinelli. We caught up with the stars of Farinelli and the King on opening night. It's a story, uh, really, of hope. How one man gave up his life and career to go and sing to another man who was in intolerable pain and give the great gift of music to heal him. It's a show about the power of song, popular song, and though this is now classical opera, it was originally popular song. So to bring this music and bring someone like Yestin, who you'd have to go to the Met to hear, bring him into a popular uh, Times Square theater, I, I think that's exciting. There's nothing more than exploring how music moves you rather than just having music for the sake of it. And this play does that really well. I don't think there's anything else quite like it. Um, because it's, you know, it's a new play, but it's also, it's got the kind of uh, bit of the world of opera in there. It's um, candlelit, it's a beautiful thing. The lush staging and costumes offer up a world in which audiences can take refuge, just like the king does in Farinelli's music. The nice thing about theatre is it steals your imagination from your own concerns for a little while, in my experience. And then when you turn back and go out, you see suddenly your concerns afresh. Pretty much everyone in life has some kind of um, sadness or melancholy within them. And I hope that they come away from this seeing someone who has an extreme version of that, that they can find solace and hope and a lift and life from art, from music. I'm hoping that people coming to this play are going to leave feeling inspired, enriched and invigorated to actually make some changes. Clearly the king in the play also is, yes he's mad and he's battling, but in a way he's a sort of metaphor for troubled life in general. And I think that's a great thing to take on board when you come into the theatre and leave what's going on outside behind just for a couple of hours. There's so much down and depression in the world. This is a play to make you feel better.